they mo here at West Branch, I hear so much about ATV trails, in fact, all the motorsports that go on here. And it's supposed to be some of the best in the state from what I understand. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more about them. Well, I just got back from the UP uh, a couple days ago, and uh, we wanted to track the UP, see what that's about. Uh, we did Drummond Island in the spring, now the rest of the western part uh, uh, this fall. And what we discovered is there's no place like home. The Ogama Hills, bar none, the best in the state. I can honestly say that because I've been on most. Not all, but we're getting close. We're getting close to all. But one of the things that we have, we have the beautiful vistas, nice landscapes from up high or down low in valleys. The wildlife, immense. Uh, you can see everything uh, Michigan has to offer in Ogama County, from bears and eagles, a lot of porcupines and, and you know raccoons, a lot, a lot of small animals but deer uh, around almost every corner. So, Carol, sometimes you really have to be cautious going around those corners. Bet. You never know what you're gonna see. I'll bet. Well, again, now, how do you maintain all these trails that you've got? Well, actually, we have uh, the Ogemaw Hills Snowmobile Club, uh, by far, uh, when they take care of these trails, and you'll notice the difference when you go to different counties and different areas, who's mm -hmm. grooming them, what they're about, what's important to that group by the condition of their trails. And by, I, I don't want to brag, actually I don't have to. You have to come here and check it out and visit. You know, we have a lot of people from Canada, for example, come here, it's their first stop. They ride our trails because they're some of the best around. Okay, now are, are these trails handling all different types of vehicles? In the spring and summer, a lot of ATVs, a lot of side-by-sides. Uh, you know, uh, you never know what you're gonna see out there. You know, we have a lot of uh, trails that cross-section each other with motorcycle trails and you know, ATV trails, but uh, you know, you'll see everything from modified uh, Jeep Cherokees and four by fours to uh, uh, big, uh, big side by sides to the mom and pop uh, tractor type four by fours out there just uh, checking out the trails and getting out in the woods. Well, now the trails themselves are they pretty easy to follow? Are there maps? Uh, what well, kind of pretty much everyone has a map, uh, and with the DNR, you know, they passed the new law uh, in January of this year, so. Uh, it's not only the trails, but uh, but it's the county roads also, so okay. that are open, you know. And, and so now, for our section of the Lower Peninsula, all trails are marked are open unless marked closed for county roads, and and sometimes you'll see the roads that says not maintained by the county and whatnot. Uh, so those are all accessible as well as the trails, and so and so knowing the trail system and where to find that information is, is crucial. And with the DNR's new interactive map, um, you can get it on your phone. Uh, you can stop by one of our local businesses uh, in West Branch. Everyone uh, will have maps, or the Chamber and the Visitors Bureau office will have maps, uh, and they're very detailed. Well, we're getting all these people up here, and they're going to be riding. How about some of the other amenities that you have here in West Branch? Well, one of the things we have is, you know, West Branch, uh, the first trail town on I-75 by far. But what we have is we have a little piece of small town America right here in our own backyard. The, the little quaint brewery downtown to some of our hotels. We have award-winning chefs in the neighborhood. When you get here, it depends on what you like to do, but fishing, our lakes are pristine. We offer a lot of different types of fish in Ogemaw County in the West Branch area. Uh, for the outdoor enthusiasts, I think we have just about a little bit of everything. Okay, and that includes hiking trails too, doesn't it? Oh, the Ogemaw Pathway is very famous for their walking trails, and, and actually some of the uh, fat tire bicycle groups will use them also. Uh -huh. One of the unique things about them is, in years past, I've talked to a couple people that now walk the trail, that used to uh, bike ride, tell me about days past where they'd be lined up down the road and, and you'd go there to, as a social function because you'd see so many people um, year after year that you'd know on the trail from a year ago. <laughs> and so for some of those people, it turned out to be a social function just to be up here for fall color and walking and, and biking those trails. All right, there you have it. If you're looking to do some uh, power sports of any kind, but also, just to come up here and find all the amenities that a family would want, West Branch is the place to be. Thanks, Samuel. Thank you.